Oh, I'm Steve. And tonight on the Crocodile Hunter, we're gonna look at something else besides the crocodile. One me. This is the world's most endangered deer. It's the one antlered barbacus. The barbacus deer is completely. There's only at least 50 left out here in Australia. This is one of the 50. Now, if you look at its stomach, look at it with the night shot. You look at the. Oh my gosh, it's, that's the mating call of the barbacus deer. Now, if you look at its stomach, you may notice that it's a little pregnant. This one changed the ecosystem and at least multiply five times. It just recently became illegal to kill them because they just realized there's only 50 of them left. So I'm going to get a closer look on uh, my super quiet car that can just sneak up. The deer think that this car is another deer. So they'll just sit there and they'll talk and it'll just sit there and it won't even move if I do it right. But I gotta make the right deer rut noise. It's like... That's the deer rut noise. I have a special tool that'll do it on my vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. I have to go up to the deer a little bit fast. I have to act casual just like another deer because that's what he thinks I am. Now if I go up too slow, he'll think I'm sneaking up on him. And he uses... I have special powers of animal language and I'm gonna use them right now. Crocky! I think I hit something. I'm gonna back up and find out. Oh! 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 Sick! Oh my gosh! Uh, I don't think anybody saw that. There's a law here in Australia that if nobody sees it, nobody's gonna tell. Oh. <laughs> now, if you run over it a few times more, it makes the flesh nice and soft. That's why. I, oh, oh, that's why I'm. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Oh, crikey! Oh, it got all over me. Oh, sick. What am I gonna tell my wife? Steve's wife doesn't know what happened. She thinks he got into a car accident. Now he's gonna go play a little trick on her. Let's go watch. Steve, what happened? I don't know. I just came out here and this deer was all over the road. Isn't that that rare deer from Australia? Oh my gosh. I think you're right. Hmm. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I've never shown you this before, but I'm gonna use my special animal resurrection powers. <laughs> okay, now, Pony, I need you to go get some something from the woods to put on this, a red track, okay? Right. Ten minutes later. Brought me a what? Oh my god, look at that. This is your fault. You didn't bring it fast enough. Next week on the Crocodile Hunter, Steve Irwin is the Crocodile Woman Hunter. my wife. Uh, she uh, got a little drunk and passed oh, out. That's fine, and she's tired, actually. She's tired. Oh, what's that underneath your arm? <laughs> oh, under my arm? 
They're right there. This? Don't you know that's a barbarous deer? The what? Don't you know they're illegal to kill in Australia? What, these? I'm yes. balancing that field over there. What's all the blood and guts? Why I didn't kill it? Why is it so dead? Don't you know those are illegal to kill in Australia? I just said I didn't kill it. What's that on his nose? Where? Wait, that's a big accent, isn't it? Okay, you got me. My real name is Leroy. I work at the hair cuttery. Oh, really? The one down the street? Yeah, I'm just doing this crocodile thing on the side because I don't make enough money. That's all right. But, you know. Don't you know those are legal to kill in Australia? <laughs> I said I didn't kill it. What's that right there? What? That right there? That? Oh! Your fingerprints all are over it! <laughs> what? Dude, you just... Let's uh, go. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh my god! <gasps> Leroy was arrested and spent life imprisonment for killing the endangered species of deer. He also spent three nights. He, he also spent three nights in prison for killing his wife because she was really annoying anyway. And nobody liked her. Always nagging, you know, asking for ice cream. And that concludes our story. Good night. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and you had bad treats, you go to school and learn the golden rule. So why? Please hang up and try again.